developer and a member of the full stack React team. So you've been really excited about serverless architecture and doing that with React these days. Tell us a little bit more about that. Uh, serverless is a really interesting movement, I think. It used to be that, that servers contained all the logic and data for our applications. And now with um, frameworks like React, a lot of that logic is now moved to the client. And so it's helpful to rethink how we use servers. And that's where Lambda comes in. With Lambda, you um, servers are a completely hand-off approach, hands-off approach. You don't have to worry about monitoring, load balancing, um, scaling up and down, all of that is as abstracted away. And so I think for uh, front-end developers, it's a really useful tool to um, get up and running with an application and not have to worry about configuring servers, you know, stuff like that. That stuff is stuff I've done before, but it's not something I really enjoy, and I'd much rather be writing React code. So um, using Lambda in place of a typical, like, traditional server setup is, is something that helps me get up and running with an application a lot quicker. So I really enjoy it. It almost kind of sounds very similar to Create React App. Like, all these CLIs are able to help developers get up and running pretty quickly. It, it kind of sounds like that's the same thing that's happening with AWS Lambda. So, so the web UI for Lambda is a little bit cumbersome, a little hard to use, and um, there's a tool out there called Serverless. Um, it's almost exactly like Create React App, whereas like Create React App will get you up and running with a React application. Serverless is a tool that will help you get up and running with Lambda. It's just really easy to get something uploaded to Lambda and get, get it up and running. So it's awesome. I really love it. <laughs> is anything in React Fiber going to help that movement? Um, no, I feel like React Fiber is more more just on the React side of things, um, and Lambda is, is more server-side stuff. So there isn't really a crossover between the, the two. So what are some of the exciting things that you're looking forward to in the React community this year? I think... Um, well, I really enjoy going to meetups. Devin Lindsay is is someone that that hosts one of the one of the React Bay Area meetups here in the Bay Area, and um, I think it's just really enjoyable for me to see how many new companies are adopting React and what they're doing with React. It seems like a lot of companies will take a little portion of their um, entire web application and, and use React in that little, you know, make, maybe, maybe create a little widget or some other aspect of their website, not completely redo their whole application with React. And I think that's really one of the key um, benefits of React is, like, you don't have to rewrite your entire code base just to be able to test it out or use it. And I think it's, it's beneficial for companies to, to try it out in that, in that way. So. What got you started with React? So I was doing, I was working on a little side project with a couple of other people, and I, at the time, I was doing a little bit of Backbone, and so I was, I um, was researching some other frameworks, you know, and I uh, found React, and at first I was like, JSX, what is this? This is weird. I think most people have that that uh, kind of reaction. But then I dove into it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is like, make, totally upended my whole way of writing front end code. Um, I had only done a tiny bit of, of backbone um, development and prior to that it was all jQuery. And jQuery is good, but I felt like React really um, uh, helped me rethink how, how I um, create an application, how I structure an application, and I really loved that it kind of gave me a better, um, better tools to to really uh, just have a better structure. Yeah, I love I love React. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> JSX is kind of like was one of those things that when I first looked at React got me really confused. And where is that point? Like, when was that breaking point for you where you finally crossed over to the path of really loving React? Yeah, that is a good question. I think, um, I think when you kind of realize that it's not, it's not, not so different from HTML, I think when I figured that out, like, oh, it's pretty similar to HTML, 
um, then then I then I wasn't so hesitant to to dive in and really explore React. Um, I think, yeah, for me that was kind of like helped me really really get get into it. So. With React, is there anything that has been developed in the community that has allowed you to build something that maybe you haven't been able to build before? Yeah, that's a good question too. I don't, I don't know if it was anything that I hadn't been able to build before. It was just better structure, better user interactions, better flow. I think in just in general, it helped me be a better programmer and and also helped me understand JavaScript a lot better. With jQuery, you just kind of modify the DOM and and I don't I don't think I really understood how JavaScript really worked until I I really dove into React and had to actually write more more JavaScript code. Cool. Have you have you played around with React Fiber yet? No, haven't played with it yet, <laughs> but I should. <laughs> Uh, is there anything that you're looking forward to or concerned about with Fiber? Um, not really concerned. I think the people on the React team are pretty smart. I think they know what they're doing, and the fact that Facebook.com is is using React, Fi you know, the latest version of React right now, I think is is a good indication that it, that it's working well. I think they still have a few bugs to work out, but I'm excited for the changes that come. I think it's going to be make make. Uh, applications faster and better, and I just love that they, they're constantly trying to improve React and make it better. Where can we find you online? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at WiseCobbler, and then my GitHub is Mrs. Cobbler. <laughs> hey there, are you into reactive programming using JavaScript? Do you have to deal with asynchrony in your web app? Then join this dot instructor Ben Lash to learn all of the ins and outs of RxJS in his hands-on workshop. Available online and in person, go to rxworkshop.com for more details and to book your spot today.